It's the end of the week, and so it's time to take out the trash. I love to walk, watch him walk away with the can. Anyway, uh, so Brett and I both have garbage people chosen. Mine was actually fairly easy this week, although I would not expect that anyone would have been able to predict it. It is the North Paulding High School, or at least so good. its leadership. Not the building line. or the people, but the, the people in charge. So I'm going to put them on here. And by the way, I accidentally printed on very high quality parchment paper. So anyway, they're going to be very high quality trash. You know why? We need to go back a few days to find out why. And it starts with Hannah Waters, a 15-year-old who cares about the world and uh, is gonna fight to make it better. So she tweeted, day two at North Paulding High School is just as bad. We were stopped because it was jammed. We were close enough to the point where I got pushed multiple times to go to second block. This is not okay, not to mention the 10% mask rate. And it's a photo of absolutely packed hallways, which is not in any way safe. Those kids are being exposed potentially to coronavirus. Multiple schools have already had outbreaks. And um, she continued to document this, including, and I love this, breaking down the percent compliance with mask rules in each of her blocks on multiple days, which is absolutely awesome. This is what we want is, uh, you know, someone like Hannah, who is going to like know what's going on in the world and care about it and document what's wrong, make it public to try to make a change. And there was a change as a result of Hannah's work. In an interview with BuzzFeed News, she said that she was suspended after the photo was shared by Twitter accounts with large followings and went viral. She says, I used my phone in the hallway without permission, used my phone for social media and posting pictures of minors without consent. That was the reason she was told for her suspension, which I guess is technically true, but I think we get the real reason is it makes the leadership of North Paulding look really bad and they don't like that. So they suspended her. So. Now, they did, after this became a big blow-up story, reverse the suspension, but we know what they were thinking and why they did it, and that's why they're in the can. Yes, absolutely. This is the kind of stuff where this is all incentivized. This kind of behavior is incentivized by Donald Trump because everything he's doing is trying to, at the same time as he is levying these these sanctions against Carrie Lam in in uh, in Hong Kong for doing what the Chinese government wants and and taking away people's mm -hmm. freedoms and suppressing information and people's ability to express themselves. That is exactly what this Georgia high school is doing at the be at the not even quite a little more than implied behest of the president of the United States. Yeah. Removing the ability of reporting things uh, from the CV CDC. Uh, calling everyone who says stuff that is based in fact fake news all the way down to his own top uh, epidemiologist. This is that. This is leadership in action. Mm -hmm. And yes, people are always going to want to like cover up their mistakes and and things that make it that make them embarrassed. But like to this extent, when people's lives are at stake, usually that just happens at schools and it's just molesting kids, right? Yeah. They cover it up, you know what I mean? That's terrible too. But like this is kids are gonna die. That's I that is what it that's where I would put it in in the category with something embarrassing happened at your school and you just like uh, let's do what we can to punish the kid mm -hmm. for doing something they absolutely should do, should, which should be fundamentally what we're teaching kids to do in school anyway. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta imagine that meeting where they're like, Oh my god, we're getting reamed online. This is a PR disaster. What should we do? Well, we could strike back and make a martyr of her. I guess we could do that. Good call. And this is where people go to learn. Um, so I, I want to show you one more thing, just because uh, in addition to the photos and the documentation, um, we also have some uh, video that was made available. And so I'm going to show you that. It's great work here. Look at that. Imagine walking around this. Now, a good number of the students are wearing masks, but tons aren't. And they are very, very close packed together. And think about traveling down that hallway, how scared you would be that you're going to get a virus that might not kill you, maybe, but you might spread it to someone else. You might. He, uh, and I want to read. Things. No, continue. I just like when I was a kid, I was afraid. I went, I went home from school once. I was on like second lunch, so we could leave. But I left and drove home because I was convinced through some weird neur neurotic 
paranoia that the earth decided it was going to hurl toward the sun. Like I was freaked <laughs> out about an irrational fear. I'm also terrified that I would die from a meteorite and the <laughs> Yellowstone super volcano. These are very unreal fears yes. that drove me into real panics when I was in high school. Yeah. The idea that I'm being forced to go to school amid a pandemic that is killing people and could result in the deaths of my not so elderly family members, not alone myself. I cannot imagine the kind, not to mention also kids also having to be f afraid that a school shooter is going to come and show up. Yeah. How difficult it must be for kids right now. I, I can't even imagine. Yeah, I, I can't. And, and so she and all of them are, are dealing with that fear. She is dealing with the fact that she was suspended uh, because of this. And I, I, I saw someone mention in the comments, it's a great point, like, um, all of those kids that aren't wearing masks, um, do you think they want to wear masks? Do you, how do you think they will respond to one of their fellow students pointing out how irresponsible all this is and putting pressure on them to wear masks? She's going to face strike back, social strike back, from her peers at school, but she still did it. And the reason that she gave for why she did it, I absolutely love. She said, my mom has always told me that she won't get mad at us if we get in trouble as long as it's good trouble. Citing John Lewis. Like, I, that kills me. Um, we have the can for bad people. We've been talking for a long time about having something for the good people. I guess I can honorarily induct her to Dragon Squad. That's about all I can offer at this point. But Hannah Waters, like, no, we need a, we need a million. We need 10 million Hannah Waters. People who actually care of social responsibility and will, and will suffer for it to try to push the country in the right direction. Uh, great work there. Um, but not for North Paulding's, um, you know, pre uh, principle. You're trash. Yes. For more political news, breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.